Those of you traveling to D.C. today on the Honor Air flight. No one could possibly prepare them for where this flight might lead. It's a, a unique mix of humble heroes on a fantastic day. Veterans of World War II, Korea, and Vietnam took the Blue Ridge Honor Flight. Thank you, thank you. Vietnam vet Charles Boyd sees a common thread of often unspoken pain. I'm sure everyone on this flight has lost uh, buddies and fellow uh, veterans. Founder Jeff Miller says for some, it's a charter plane to unchartered territory. Charles Boyd. While they're up there, they're all 19 years old again. It's kind of unique to see. The flight travels 500 miles to Washington, D.C., while seemingly turning back the clock. Yes, sir. At Reagan National Airport, the greeting is loud and proud. That was a rousing reception, wasn't it? Bless you, too. The reception many never got from a nation so divided after Vietnam. By and large, our country has yeah. improved today. At the Vietnam Veterans Memorial, every name has a story. It's just a uh, heart-rendering feeling to know that they're not coming back. This year, Charles and 13 other Vietnam vets made the honor flight. And we're ashamed as a nation that it took us so many years to appreciate. Meanwhile, others are on a mission to mend the sense of loss that stays with them. It kind of left a mark on me. Marshall Garman Jr. tells us the so-called forgotten war is very much fresh in his mind. He's one of 45 Korean War vets from the mountains here to pay respects. It's been a long time, but I wake up with nightmares. So many sleepless nights. And I feel bad. I spent 13 months and 12 days on the front line in North Korea. And I don't understand it. Why do you go fight a war that you can't win? I don't know. A lot of friends I lost. Marshall Garman Jr. is going to lay a wreath on your behalf. It means a lot to lay that wreath today. Blue Ridge Honor Flight operates with a sense of urgency. 18 more World War II veterans visited their war memorial. It kind of remains the gold standard. They received a victory medal for their heroic role in history front and center in a group photo for the ages, painting a picture of service and sacrifice. After all they saw at the nation's capital, one more moving chapters yet to come. The satisfaction of seeing them recognized for their service and their sacrifice and the welcome home here in Asheville. Vietnam veterans were the first in line, a gesture certainly not lost on Charles. Jeff, I can't tell you how much I appreciate what you've done. You guys did it first. This would have seemed impossible when he first came home from combat. Thank you, thank you. They always say time heals all wounds. Mm. Good turnout. Thanks for your service. You too, brother. But for thank some you. servicemen, that thank time you never comes. It. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. In Asheville, John Lee, News 13. What a turnout, huh? Nice. Absolutely. Really nice turnout. Thank you. Thank you. Home. Thank you very much. You too.